Konnichiwa Minasan, Wadashi no Amaiwa Yege des, and welcome back to the front. In the last episode, we did a few things. Um, primarily, we defeated and prepared for a... I didn't realize that I actually forgot. Yeah. I actually forgot that um, it was the episode <laughs> had been condensed because it was a number of days in between me actually recording the other two segments. So, we... Um, yeah, we had a thing. So basically, uh, we dealt with a bunch of problems. Uh, the Ashikaga settlement has been defended, and our troops were able to annihilate, without really having to fight, uh, the last desperate att attempt by the Nasu forces to counter. On a 14% chance, we were able to grab the territory of Hitachi, and, without me even realizing it, I grabbed the best and last bow and the last bow-making facilities um, inside this territory, so we're now going to be able to make some really nice and really close-up uh, Daikibo Samurai. Which is very, very nice. Um, Nasu, uh, Naokuzo is on his way back to the front. But he's probably going to end up being on the eastern front side of things. We've got the second to last territory of uh, the Nasu Shimotsuke um, under siege. And as you can see by the giant fucking cluster, we've got a lot of stuff going on. Up in the north, um, enemy forces of Ara are beginning to come in and attempt to do something. But at the moment, we're just preparing for a counter-offensive. I'm hoping they just move their armies along and try and set up a defensive perimeter um, in their territories. Because, you know, that's what it's going to be. And what I'm going to have is our new commander, our latest commander, Mr. Sukunari, is going to take the charge. And he's going to be the one to lead the counter-attack um, against uh, Nasu Uki Uchitsune. So hopefully he's gonna, because he's got a pretty good, he's got a pretty dope army to be fair. Um, it's a mixture of things. I'll probably need to like readdress a few things, and we can probably do whatever. But eh, it's it's a pretty sub, it's a pretty decent force. We've got a decent amount of troops. We've got some cavalry. We've got some Deki Samurai. We're all good. It's all looking good. And of course we've got another commander in the form of Kane um, Kane Nobu, who I believe is a recent addition. He's not a He's not a general who was brought up. I think he was. He's actually a general who I was able to promote, which is a rarity nowadays, considering. Um, so yes, all in all, it's looking very, very good. Um, I've even made a cappuccino of good fortune to continue our current uh, positivity at this point in time. Um, Metsuke agents are on their way. We're about prepared to launch the big attack to head north. So. Without further ado, let's end the turn and see whether the Nasu decide to do anything. The Aura could launch an attack, which I'm not a huge fan of. It looks like they're... No, I wouldn't be able to... Wait, is that a geisha? Is that a geisha? No, that's a priest. That's a priest. Okay. So... Okay, here we go. So the enemy navies are going to try and attack our trade. But at this point... Not really that important. Right, what's happened in the north? Bad news city. Shut up. Okay. Sabotage. Mitsuke. Assassination attempt. Uh, Demoralization attempt. Okay, so we've had sabotages attempted to position. Okay, he's just in line as well. The enemy have attempted to demoralize, but we've stopped them, which is fantastic. Level one, level three. So both of these are level three ninjas. That's not good. Right. Ninja are in position. Yeah, ninjas are moving into position now, so let's start doing what we can. We've got Oshu over there. Right, let's assassinate this dude. He's gone. Good job. And he's ranked. What a champion. Uh, Subdiffuse when attaching. What do I do? He is... We're making him a good assassin. We're going to make him like the best fucking assassin. Um, we're going to give him this as well. Uh, boom. So he's going to be the best fucking assassin. Tsukamoto is going to be a really good assassin. Uh, oh, he is a high ranker. Okay, another Metsuke has been wounded. Fantastic. Right, more Sam, uh, more ninja make their way to the north. Um, I'm gonna have my agent Magisha make her way up towards Iwaki, as that is a definitely held enemy territory. Uh, we'll have one agent head north to provide support. Another agent is gonna make his way this way. Uh, Nori Mune, oh no, it's Okatsune. He's gonna make the push. Yeah, Okatsune is gonna make the push. 
So, Akitsune, and then you've got reinforcements coming up. Not a lot of room for these dudes, I won't lie. So this is going to be a bit of an awkward one, but I reckon we can be fine if we can... So long as we can push in. I mean, they can't push in the east now. That's pretty much them fucked. Right, you... Right, so they've brought up the last of their reinforcements, which is fine. I was expecting something along these lines. So this is effectively the last of the, of the big garrison all forces. Uh, right. That's fine. Ninja's there. You boys are on here as well. Right, cool. That's fine. So, the last big battle of the Nasu forces is, is upon us, unfortunately. And it looks like they've brought in quite a big amount of troops to deal with. But so have I, and I'm going to do a little dick move. Um, I'm going to make this army a little less favorable. And it's mine. <laughs> oh, hello, third unit of Takadetsu Subo Warriors. <laughs> oh, this is fantastic. Right, we're going to just, for this occasion, we're going to grab this. Right. Right. Have uh, have this lad make his way up across to there. Uh, Tokiharu, I'm going to have you take a defensive position here as well. And Sukunari, I'm going to have you lead the charge. There we go. So, let's save and prepare for a battle, and, well, the last big battle. Is he going to withdraw? Yeah, they're going to withdraw. Of course, they're going to withdraw you. Of course, they're going to withdraw again. Because they're cowards. They're fucking shit-faced cowards. Oh, now they decide to deploy. Uh, to be fair, this is a pretty small force, but it's... Oh, that would have been so nice if we had Tanagashima, these dudes, but then they're not quite quite high quality. So this is the first battle. So Kanari is going to face it on his own. Um, effectively, the army is smaller than, smaller than he his army is. And they're getting very limited amounts of weapons and other shit, but uh, that's the only... Uh, we could use the Katana Cavalry to wipe the floor with these dudes. Yeah, that's fine, we can do that. Only limited bits of terrain that are flat in this particular region. Mm. Indeed, it is going to be a pretty impressive battle. Not the battle I was expecting, but the battle that we're getting. And I think this particular battle is going to be quite impressive. Considering it's three separate armies, we'll probably have to glamorize it a bit on the front, not on the story, though. But still. All right. Fog. Not rain. Dry. His first battle. The son and heir of our deary, our dear Daimyo Motojika. Kyo Oh, wow. This is a very, very brief army. This is a very brief statement there. If there's one thing I do like um, about Rome 1 that I, and, and or to a degree, um, about uh, the other Total War game is uh, the other Total War, Medieval 2. <laughs> the other Total War game. The filthy one. No, um, is that whenever you had a speech, it was a proper, like, enveloped thing, which not only displayed the tactical information to the troops, but also it um, it conveyed the seriousness of the battle as well. It's like sometimes you'll get these troops who'll be like, oh yeah, well we've been fighting these dudes for a while now, but we're going to be okay with it, and then we're fine. And then basically you've got shit like this, where it, or shit like this, where it's like, I'm a new commander, you're, new, you're my new troops, I appreciate everything you guys are giving me the trust, and I will try not my best not to, you know, take it down. And it, and it really showed the perspective of the general. Which is the important thing. But anyway, let's, uh... 
Enough of talk. Let's focus on the war. Right. Right. Let's have these three take up defense positions along so. These three take up defense positions along so. Two of these guys will take up defensive positions here. You boys will take up defensive positions here. These guys are going to get ripped to shit, but that's the point of the cavalry. Oh boy, you are taking a shit kicking. And they're pretty solid in combat as well. Oh fuck. And those are the super fucking strong dudes as well. Yeah. Right, try and beat these guys as fast as you can, please. Come on, beat him, beat him, beat him, beat him, beat him. Run thy fuck away. Right, they're dead. They have to be dead. Well, you two back out. More cavalry. Oh, you motherfucker. One dude survived. I mean, they're surrounded on three, like, three Katana Cavalry units, but they're going to do some serious damage. Withdraw. If we can do enough damage, we can force these bastards into withdrawing. But we've taken out the biggest chunk of them, which was their ranged units. Come on, come on. Right, pull back. You boys get defensive over here, you boys. Get over there. You, you, and you. Right, you boys get defensive. to attack me. It's not even a question. Unless they do that. Oh, God damn it. Motherfuckers. You guys gonna attack? Of course not. Bo Sohe? Oh, okay. I wonder if they have any decent range. Do they have the thingies for it? No. We can't get the intel. Okay. Well, they got both running, which is not too good, but that is, like, still, we're in range, and if we can change the position, then I think we'll be okay. Right, okay. Army time, let's take a move. I oh. forgot to turn the bloody thing off in last one. GG. Right, make a move to the left, because this is, like, a nice open field. We'll relocate the um, archers, horses. I've got the general over here, but the spear wall line. Right, the samurai units will take up defensive positions here. You boys start making your defensive positions here. You boys form up a defensive point here. We're going to start poking them on the right flank. Try and see if we can get some of their car their forces to... Yeah, there we go. Double time it, lads.
Right, move up. Right, their cavalry forces are depleted, but we can make maybe maybe make a prod. Right, let's make a push. Okay, okay, okay. Oop. Bingo. That's what I wanted to see. Dumb movement like that. What are these? Sohair. What range are you in, Sohair? Can you shoot? Oh, you can shoot further range. Good, that's fine. Sohair, that's good to know. They got no armor, but we got armor. But we can shoot back at them. And they're fucked. I don't know what the range is of the Sohair, but they are definitely stronger than um, I probably what I thought. I probably should have looked at them beforehand. I, to be fair, I didn't really spend any time looking at the actual <laughs> units in this. But from what I can gather, it doesn't look like they've got more than 190, which is what these guys have got. Uh, it's like what? Yeah, 190. And my guys are 100% accurate now. Their experience means that 100% of the time, they're going to do damage. I'm not entirely sure if that's 100% true, but I like the concept. I'd, I'd like to think that that's the concept. Unfortunately, the trees are probably is, is what's going to make the uh, engagements a little bit less favorable. But what we'll do here... Oh, is that the cavalry going in? Yeah, the cavalry... Yeah, the cavalry just got minced a bit, but... He's okay, because, you know... <laughs> there's one guy with a, with a guy with a gun. Right. You boys want to get into a position where you can shit on the enemy for a little bit? That's fine by me. Okay, so they get hit by the whistling thing. So these guys are definitely not ones to be fucked with. You see, if they brought these guys out a little earlier in the conflict... Not conflict... We probably could see some serious danger now. Yeah, let's pull back. Any of them to take any of the shots? Uh, yep, yeah, keep shooting that way. Pop it. Perfect. The Sohei seem to be very vulnerable to fire as well, which is good. But Runin, different story. Right, you boys. Cross into the flats. You boys move up to counter. Right, the Ari Ashigaru are taking hits, but these boys are going to start counter attacking. Our bow superiority will not be challenged. This is where match locks probably would still be valid, but at this point. You know how the game goes. Years in the day, I remember though. Do you know what? I remember back when this first campaign first started. I absolutely detested. Um, I absolutely detested bows, and I really hated the fact that I, I had to use bows. And here I am at the end of the campaign, almost three years later, real life years, and I'm like, oh, dude, why don't we have bows? They're like super fucking useful. <laughs> I'm just like, for fuck's sake. Right. If you guys withdraw a bit. I'll let the, uh, you boys take a defensive posture. The rest of you boys take up a bit more of an aggressive posture. Like so. They come into attack. No, warrior nuns are coming to attack, but not you boys. Uh, right, you boys take cover behind those dudes. You guys engage those dudes. Go at them, lads. Right. Warrior Nun's gonna go ape shit. Withdraw. Double fucking time. Double time it. Right. You, 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 you. Time to nudge the lineup once more, and I think at this point we can probably, um, yeah, 
We'll probably be able to nudge the line up and be able to... Yari Samurai is taking up defensive position. Your whistle. <coughs> Have fun. Get fucking showered on. These guys are going to get shattered upon, and because they're not committing, they're going to go right in front of my fucking line. Beauty, beauty, beauty. Right, you boys set up defensive positions. You boys regroup on the left. Right, these boys are going to get fucking trashed upon, which is fine by me. That's what I want to see. In fact, you boys regroup over to here. We're just going to weather the fuckers down with the rain. We're at the extent of our maximum range with some of the stuff. But at least... You got to. They're fucked. Knock out the Yari Samurai. You. Right, knock out the Yari Samurai. They're gonna die. You coming to the back of them. <laughs> Given the context. Right, that's the that's the battle done. Keep the lad alive. He is the future of the clan. Oh, Jesus Christ. They fucking blitzed. Oh, that's why they went into fucking spike wall formation mid-battle. Well played. Well played. Right, yeah, you... You're done. Get, out, get the fuck out of the battlefield. Yeah, it doesn't quite work when you're on the side panel. No mercy. Ah, uh, no, let's keep killing. Right, where's the last dude? Over here. Where, where are the nuns? I don't see nuns. You? Oh, there they are. I'm like, where the fuck are the nuns? I genuinely was curious where the nuns went. Right, you boys take care of that. You guys give yourself some improved stats as well. Go have fun killing them. You guys knock out that Yari Samurai. You boys come back. Almost lost that unit as well. I don't know if we're going to lose it completely because of the casualty index, but I'm hoping not. There we go. Have fun. Right, almost able to do like the 36. He's 36 seconds and then he can completely blitz it. This is a good opportunity for the lad to get some ex to much needed at combat experience. It's a shame that this is the only way I can dare risk sending him in, but due to the fact that generals are not replaceable as easily as other things, I'm going to be like, yeah, no, we're okay. Rally, man. You've won the battle and the enemy is fleeing, but there's always a chance you may rout. And... Yeah, I'll let a couple of the Samurais die and, like, get them away. I actually is blocking the top of the thing as well. Right, yeah, finish these fuckers off and then we'll be able to deal with that. I'll be such a young little lad, isn't he? Bearing in mind, he's, like, what, 13, 14? So, like, the age of... Oh, God. Over 12 years... Like, fucking 14 years ago. Old, 
or younger than I am. And he's winning a battle. His first battle as well. Well done, lad. Asakara Sorte. So 550 casualties for, yeah, that's a pretty good battle. And he gets his first little thing as well. Isn't that adorable? He gets his own little special battle token. I like that. It's adorable. Anyway, make your way back towards the uh, line so you don't get charged by all the other dudes. Right, there we go. Right. Well, we'll have we'll let the uh, we'll have another turn of warfare so that this guy can actually shit. Uh, shit. That's a point. He's gonna need to leave the battlefield if he's gonna ever save that cavalry. Oh, I'm not that fussed about the cavalry unit. Right. Fuck it. Battle time. There's like an, there's like four dudes in deployment um, against this. Yeah, like ten thousand. It's it's not even. Yeah. One, two. Yeah, we lost that cavalry unit. I'm not entirely surprised. Uh, but I don't care. And Shimotsuke has been secured. Okay. Laboom, laboom. So we have one more territory left. The enemy army is left here. Uh, and reinforcements can now come in to... What was it? What's the size of this place? Right, so two of these dudes. Uh... We have any decent? Do we have any of our like proper right Tamihide? Right, if you guys would like to make your way up to the front lines, uh... Wait, these guys have joined us at the right point. Right, if you guys want to get into the castle, just help defend it. Um, bloody hell! <laughs> make your way across the front. All right, make your way up to the front. Right, you boys, try and defend yourselves in a decent enough location. Just out the castle. Um, you, yeah, you go that way. Okay, so oh bloody hell, it's warm. Oh, fuck's sake. Uh, right, just ad adjusting as it's fucking boiling today. Well, it's more like I can't have any drinks that are relatively warm, despite my, you know... I can't have the cappuccino of good fortune without overheating, and it's just bloody boiling. Anyway, um, we're going to pop over and put our archbishop in a decent location over here. Um, we'll move this guy up to stop him from moving. Perfect. Right, he can't do anything now, which is fine by me. Right, cool. We're in position now. We've, we've done pretty well. Let's say we've done pretty, pretty well. Damn. The last time I tried anything was that 2020. Shit. Right. Okay. Okay, cool. Right, let's see what the bastards try this time. Actually, that's a point. I want to try and be in a position where I can actually, you know, see the shit that's happening. We could attempt to deploy... No, let's deploy him on this front line over here. Of course. Um, how many fucking fleets are there going to be? I mean, they're pretty sizable fleets, but that's a Nasu fleet. That's not going to be around for much longer. Um... Third one. Oh, thank the, thro thank the throne. At least we've got the satisfaction of knowing that that's not the only one there. But yeah, the fleet's going to be going... The, the Nasu fleets are going to be going in a few minutes. And at this point, I really don't care about the naval forces now. Effectively, I've abandoned the naval front. It's like, yeah, maybe if you want to have something. But that Nasu fleet's going to go bye bye in a minute. Uh, you boys make your way across to this... Yeah, you boys make your way back to this territory... 
get some repairs done, and then when I've defeated the last Natsu garrison, we can just effectively move our troops up. So really, there's no benefit to it. And there, look at that, one territory left of the Natsu line. Fucking hell. Right, move you boys up. Okay, so we've got agents over there. They haven't got really na they haven't got really any agents over here. So really, effectively, I can just do this. Right, what the fuck are you gonna do? Aura is gonna try something. Oh, thank the throne. Okay, so he's yeah. The priests have come along. Okay, the fuckers are trying to counter. Okay. Oh, why would you do that? That's like a general. I could bribe you. I hope you win. No, sorry, no, I hope you win. I hope you don't die. I'd like a new general. Odono Kaganaga. Come on, Kaganaga. Don't die. Don't die. Don't die. Don't die. Don't die. Fuck. Right, so an enemy counter attack is inbound. Assassination attempt. Okay. Oh boy. Right. Territory has been noted. Right. Can I get back in time? Right, we can get back in time. But this is a bit of a concern. Right, uh, Motochika. Get your ass into defensive position at... Get your, get your ass into defensive position at Nishikambara. There you go. Can't really do anything at the moment. If I do this, what happens? One. Okay, good. Well, we're not going to be here long, so we're going to hold off a bit. Right. Um, question. Can I bribe you? Are you a dude I can bribe? No, because all of the fucking... All of the fucking generals are in this one goddamn army, which means I can't bribe any of their generals. I really detest that. But we do have multiple ninjas, but there is multiple dudes to deal with. But my ninjas are catching up. Ninjas are gonna go blazing. Ninjas are gonna go blazing. Right, you... Sabotage again, if you'd like. Thank you very much. Um, right, Sukunari can deal the killing blow. I think it's only fair he gets a chance. Um, Kane Nobu, on the other hand, gets another ability. This is where it gets awesome. He's going to get supported by Tokiharu, and they're going to make a push towards the last territory, which is Nasu. So he get so Kane, so Sukunari is going to get the, gl the, gl the, f the glory and the fame for killing um, the commanding officer. But um, Kane Nobu is going to get the glory for... Um, right. I need recon of the no local area ahead of me. What we got? Oh shit. Saigon Swordmasters. No way. Oh, that's dope. Like Blitzen Nodachi troops. That's impressive. Yeah, I want that. That, that army, I want. <laughs> I can't move. Fuck. Move to the side. Move to the side, maybe? Right, move over there. Oh, we can't fucking do it. Unless I bribe the settlement. I'd laugh my ass off, but I don't want to. I mean, I keep doing this, but if it's possible, no. Okay, didn't think so. Right, Okatsune, if you would. Oh, wow. Okay, I can't really attack that. We'll see what we can do. Um. It may be that we'll have to go around the corner that way, but if that's the case, then that's the case. Um, I don't really want a chance uh, doing anything, so we'll see. From what I can see, they're... Hmm, we'll hold the line with those at the moment. Um, 
My reinforcements. Right, cool. Yeah, that seems fine. Those guys disappear. Bleh. Alright, perfect. Then you boys. Right, perfect. You boys make your way across that way. What are these the guys? They're not that much in terms of defense. Right, time for you to start making your moves up north. Uh, you need to be in encampments where we can recruit more Daikubo Samurai. It is apparently faster for you to do that. GG. Right, anyway. Um, you make your way up to the north as well. You are also to make your way up north. It's pretty much all of the dudes are just setting up. This is like fucking Operation Market Garden at this point. Only the, preparator the prep phase. Right, anyway. So, Sukunari, you are the champion who gets to lead the battle to finish off this prick. And this way, we're gonna, we are in fact gonna have our little lord battle and kill it off. At the moment, I know I'm doing a lot of auto resolves for the castles, but at this point in the game, in this case, it would just slow us down needlessly. There would be way more episodes than there would need to be, um, or it would just be a case of me saying, "Right, I'm gonna be right back," because you know, yeah. So there, there is a point where auto resolving is kind of a necessity necessity to go into it. But this one, even though we have 100% chance to win, there's very little chance for anything to go wrong. I want to have this opportunity to, to send these bastards to hell. Command and sword is in confined space or when you're engaged closely with an opponent with the <coughs> long to can use effectively in all situations, of course. Um, yeah. Well, Miyamoto Musashi, Musashi has done himself a decent service. Fog? No, thank you. Dry? Good job. Oh boy. Ma hilly terrain. We're going into the mountains now. And we're also by the coast. Pre-approved chair. Yeah. <laughs> that is what they are. But such is the decree of fate. Okay, we know what was going to happen here. So, the enemy have effectively not much left to do. Oh boy, yeah, there we go. So yes, effectively the enemy are... I normally don't set up my armies like such, but... Right, you boys regroup a bit to the left. I mean, we're attacking them, so they're going to try and set up defensively in the forest here. Unless they're going to try and rapidly do whatever. Alright, rapid time. Right, you boys. Regroup to Leonda. Right, cavalry moves to the left flank. Is this all we got reinforcements wise? Right, I've got something at least. Commanding officer. Ogata. Ogata. Let's go our way. Let's go our way. Right, bastards are coming in for a big charge. Right, cool. Okay. Time to go in for the big one. Oh, good. We could do some more uh, Naginatas. Right. 
Right, you boys form up defensively here. Cavalry, uh, we'll have a little thing for cavalry over here. Oh, we have got a shit ton of bows. We do have a shit ton of bow cav now, which is nice. It's a nice feeling. Right, you boys set up a defensive line as such, so that the enemy don't have an opportunity to do much. Um, you boys will set up accordingly as well. If I remove you, yeah, double time it. You're on the Banzai, but that's okay. You, you guys are fairly quick anyhow. Um, our main, our, our main anti-infantry, well, our main strength is our bows. So I think what we should have is the bow cav at the front. They can react quickly and do whatever they can. And then these boys take a defense position to the right. And away we go. Right, fuckers are going to try and either charge us or they're going to try and take the hill. Now, the chances are they're probably going to try and take the hill, which is fine. If they really want to go for the hill... Yeah, no, they're going to go for a charge. They want to, if they want to go for a hill charge, that's... If they want to go for a charge, then that's their death. If they want to go for the hill, then they're fucked. They're probably going to try and focus on a defensive measure, but I think the enemy is literally realizing... I keep forgetting to turn this fucking thing off. Um... Oh, good day. Who are you? Oh, yeah, you. Otterbushy, you know it girls know how to do it best. Right, bows. Cavalry's all about, but we need to get that shit set. Withdraw. Right, withdraw, withdraw. We're going for a, we'll go for a traditional defensive battle today. Double time in defense. My lord, their general has fallen. A cutting blow. Right. We'll split the bow units up a little bit. You boys cover that approach. You boys cover that approach. Our general is in grave danger, my lord. There's their bow cav. Right. We're taking hits, but we're killing them. Right, bows get into position. Get into position. You boys punch a hole that way. Uh, you boys move to the left flank, provide support. Pincer in onto these dudes. What the hell? These guys are getting minced. Right, begin to envelop. Reminds me of the old days of the. Um, reminds me of the days of the Rome. It reminds me of my uh, Rome 2 campaign. That shit was intense. I'm not gonna lie. Like that campaign saw some of the bloodiest fighting I ever ha I ever did see in um, a Total War campaign. 
but it was so it was like it was a mixture between absolutely pants shittingly terrifying and freaking amazing like adrenaline kicking through it's ridiculous right you boys make a push you guys up top make the push there's their general we've knocked out yeah Right, we were able to counter-attack, and these bastards did the dumb thing, which is attack, which is lovely. Go, 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 go. We've also lost a few units, but that's fine. These are units that I had not... Well, I recruited, but not... Um, One of you boys head over there, knock that fucker out. Knock out the bar warrior monks. Right, center line's about to break off. Once that's that, once that's done, that's them dead. All right. Yep, that's the day done. The bow warrior monks may be sort of there, but yeah, no. Main intention is we need to get this boy some experience. Then again, he's probably going to end up losing out to uh, certain bits of kills, but that's fine. So that was a pretty quick battle, actually. Much quicker than I anticipated. Um... We did lose some troops, unfortunately, but that's... Well, actually, no, fuck it, that's... Um, I would dispute that calling... I would dispute calling that a close victory. I'd say... I'd say it would probably be fair to call it a heroic victory. But I'm not gonna be... Um... Yeah, no, that's... I call bullshit. 2000. Ooh. You definitely did do some damage on me. But these are uh, these were done by like units who weren't that great. Yeah, I know. He ranks. Yeah, he's fucked. Right, let's finish this battle off. I swear to God, if one person died, slash. Knife. Knife, knife, knife. Right. Reinforcements can now start flowing through. Uh, uh, we'll deal with that. We've got reinforcements. We got shit tons of reinforcements. Uh, you are the reinforcements I was looking for. Right. The priesty dude set up. Right, Shimotsuke. Right, you're in a solid region. Um, sadly, we need... We don't need the arsenal. We could probably turn this into a church conversion area. And then we can actually start murderizing how much we can you know, murderize the faith. That's like a proper, like, that sounds like a really metal thing to say. Murderize the faith. More importantly, if now Kazo doesn't get interrupted by fucking fleet. God damn it. Come on. No more fleets. No more fleets. No more fleets. No more fleets. No more fucking god damn it. Fuck you. You fucking nuisance bastards. I don't care, like, as long as you're not launching invasions, which you ain't. Fuck's sake. Right, now Kazo is coming. He's going to be in on the third episode. But, <laughs> next episode, but yeah. Right, um... Let's take care of this dude before anything else happens. Because that's quite a substantial force here. Right, targets have been assassinated. Good shit, good shit. Hmm... Uh -huh. 
quite a substantial force we've got. Might as well. Right, you sabotage the Daimyo's army. Perfect. Bribe this army out of existence. Fucking beautiful. And the Metsuke increases in rank. Oh, boo, yeah. Uh... <laughs> nice. Right, you. That's a pretty... Wait, no, where is it? Oh, this is the army. Yeah, this is a, actually not a bad group of people, but... <laughs> no more dudes. <clears throat> right, we effectively deleted a chunk of the dude's army. Which means that they aren't going to be as able to counterattack or do as much crap to them. Which is important. Right. <clears throat> more importantly, we have the ability to do stuff. I mean, once we've broken through the Nasu, Shirakawa, and Iwase line... Um, and we can rendezvous with our troops over at Aizu... Um, which is only a matter of time. Then we're going to be able to launch some serious, devastating attacks here. Um, we'll need to make a charge, though, in the next episode. Well, next in the next turn, is what I was meant to say. Uh, we are in the process of launching... Well, we are in the process of being capable of launching an attack. But I just need to get more troops. Uh, we need some more troops, but that's fine. We can prepare the attack. Remember, the uh, forces of... Kane Nobu are the ones who's going to be launching the attack, at least in that regard. Right, until anyway, let's uh, let's end this turn with a save, which is nice. Right. <clears throat> Our troops are spread out, unfortunately. But the hope is the Aura tries to do something to try and deal with that. Oh no, they're attacking my poor naval forces, whatever shall I... I don't care anymore. They can do this, and yeah, it's irritating. Oh, well there goes that fleet. Um, oh, we won! Nice. Alright, Nishikambara, you gonna attack us? No, of course not. Right, well that's gonna be a force that, that we'll deal with, take care of. Sabotage, I mean. Right, they're doing non-dangerous acts, which is fine. Right, they're not doing as much good. Right, nab this fucker. Uh, right, you gotta go over there and deal with this fucker, Rue. Right, sabotage this dude. Good. Right, you... I'm going to have you move up and provide support to this area. I'm going to have you do some reconnaissance over there. Bingo, we have a target. Right, we got jobs to do. Take cover. And take cover. Target acquired. Question, Osu. Osu? Osu. Oshu could be potentially a bit hotbed for. Right, so because of these dudes, I can't do anything. I. Mm. Tell you what. I don't want to keep bribing settlements because that does eventually seem to enter the realms of cheese. So instead, what we're going to do is. Right, Nobu. Make a charge. Inside your castle. Right, lay siege. Right. Make your way over to there. You boys go to here. Right, perfect. This army is getting reinforced. And there's... <sighs> Daimyo. Right, make a move over towards there. You attack this army. He withdraws. That's fine. That's kind of what I expected. He's fucked. 
He's fucked. Yeah, 24 dudes die. New Daimyo's dead. Right. Oh, no. Um... Mm, I don't really feel 100% comfortable leaving an entire fucking... Right. Right now. You guys hold the line. We'll send some reinforcements down, lay siege to the castle, and then we can do it. We'll have these two dudes come into position. What's this dude? Oh, this is a fairly substantial army. Right, there we go. Right. Right, you make your way up towards this location. Our new general has ranked. Fecund wife. Oh boy. Oh yes, he's got... Oh, yeah, I remember now. The bow, samurai, child... Yeah, bow now. Perfect. And he is going to be taking part in the siege. At least he's going to be part of the siege. Right, you three join up with him. Right, you... Basically, we're all going to charge up towards... I mean, there's a, there, as there's only one route really available to us, we're all going to basically charge up towards this position. <clears throat> and so, we're now basically surrounded with a fucked... Oh, hello. It's like one dude here. Uh, right. Judge time. It's such a good time. It's such a good time. It is Right, if you'd like to minister the settlement. Uh, zeal when converting characters. I think, yes, point a gun at them. That's a great way of converting. Um, yeah, you're going to be really good at converting provinces. Um, what we got? Samurai converting provinces. Oh, yeah, this guy's like a fucking... Shoot, nope. This guy is going to be... He's like only 30, but he can just somehow... Yeah, 13! And he's a level fucking 2. That's what I'm talking about. Right, so he's going to be able to convert these regions fairly quickly. <laughs> right, he's... They're fucked. Actually... <laughs> Dead. Right, cool. These guys are going to make their way up there. And these guys are going to do their thing as well. Right, so what we're going to do is we're going to have... <clears throat> we'll have those three armies go there. Tokikuni's going to go try and liberate that sector. I'm going to have this dude basically punch a hole straight past this area, making his way up north. Um, and then we're going to see what we can do about counterattacking. I'm probably going to try and use my... Um, I'm probably going to have um, Motojika basically... Uh, I'm probably going to have Motojika in the next episode launch an attack on this army. There's a decent strength-sized army inside, so it's not going to be easy. But at the same time, I'm fairly confident that my army will be able to withstand a decent amount. Yeah, I'm fairly confident about the strength of this army. Meanwhile, we do need to think about setting up a de setting up an army to attack. Well, we're uh, basically preparing to attack this group. So, I think what we'll probably do in the next one is we'll launch a counter attack with the intention of surrounding and defeating the rather su su rather dangerously sized army. Perfect. Right, so this way we should all be in range of these dudes, right? Yeah, perfect. All right, so we're in a position to launch a pretty effective counterattack, and we're able to uh, prepare. Well, we're able to launch a counterattack on the western front. On the central front, we've got Aizu defense forces basically annihilating them, and we're almost about ready to defeat the Dasu in the last battle. So that's quite a lot of shit that's going to be happening, and unfortunately, that is all we have time for for today. But don't forget, guys. 
stick around to see this next episode where we'll be defeating the Nasu forces and being able to have a lot more fun uh, nuking the um, the Nasu's last defensive structure, knocking out an yet another Daimyo force um, inside, and better still, the destruction of yet more enemies in front of us. It's really fucking warm today, it's my, my brain's a little frazzled. But no, we're getting very close, we're getting very close. This is, I think we're in now the final stretch. Yeah, we're in the final stretch now. It's not long. The front line is almost ours, and we are closing in on the final territory. So, well, shit. <laughs> That's all I can say. Anyway, I'll catch up with you guys in the next one. This is Mr. Yeager signing out.